Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another review slash swatch video for you guys of the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Scorpio. Oh my dear goodness. I forgot about him. Like this package actually came before Gemini, but when I got Gemini in the mail, I was like, oh my God, like I need to film with it. Um, but I completely forgot about Scorpio, so I'm very, very sorry, Scorpio. I hope you can forgive me. Um, I love this shade in the tube, so hopefully it's just as beautiful on the lips. Um, so yeah, we're going to start swatching it, and we'll see how we go. I also want to quickly say, yes, I know my foundation doesn't look the best today, but that's because it's been on for ages. I put it on at about maybe 6.30 this morning, and it's currently 8.52, so at night time. So... I think it's doing pretty well for like 14 hours wear. Anyway, let's get swatching this liquid lipstick. This one doesn't really have a scent to it. Like, Gemini smells like root beer float. This one doesn't, unfortunately, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna swatch it. Ooh, do you guys see that? It's like randomly patchy in the middle. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna just swatch over the other side of my hand and see if that fixes itself. Okay, that's really weird. Why is it like half watery? Okay, let's give this a shake. Although this one isn't very liquidy. Like normally I never have to shake my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. So this is really, really strange. I don't know if you can see it there. I think you can. Like it's just really, really watery in the middle or oily. And then here as well. What the heck? This has never happened to a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick before for me. And I own almost all of them. Okay, so I've given it a good shake. It smells really greasy. Like, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. It does have like an oil smell to it. It's really, really strange. But we're just going to swatch it on my hand now. Okay, yeah. Shaking it did definitely make it a lot nicer and more consistent. Um... But yeah, I've never had to do that with Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick before. So I guess I'm just going to start applying it to my lips. Actually, no, I have to wipe off my lip balm. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot oilier than any of the other ones because there was just heaps of oil residue on the cap. Whatever, I've never dealt with that before from Jeffree Star. I'm just going to wipe off the lip balm that I applied earlier. So now nothing's on my lips. I'm just going to apply it straight from the wand. Gorgeous, gorgeous, like gray purple. It doesn't really go with my eye makeup today, unfortunately, but the lip color on its own is honestly stunning. So, so stunning. Okay, so I did play around my camera settings. This is as close to real life color as I can get it. Um, I apologize, but this is as best that I can do. It is a gray purple. That's how I describe it. If you want to try gray lipstick, but you're scared, I would definitely say that this is a nice shade to try out um, because it's not full on gray. It's still more of a purple based gray. I really, really like it. It's a really, really gorgeous shade. It does have a very, very similar texture to every other Jeffree Star liquid lipstick that I have tried, and I really, really do like it. It's very, very opaque, and it does dry quite quickly, but not to the point where you apply it and it's already dry, and if you've messed up, you can't fix it up. Um, so yeah, overall, I really, really like this color. The formulation's really, really good. All Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks literally last ages. Like, even through eating, they last ages. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, overall, I'm super, super happy with the color. I was a bit shocked at the start when it did swatch funny, but after I shook it up, I had no problems whatsoever. I do think this one does smell really oily though, but it might just be because he hasn't added a fragrance to this one. I'm not really too sure because most of the ones that I do have, they do smell like root beer float. Um, so I can't really comment on that. But overall, I do like the application. I do think you need to shake it. This color definitely isn't for everybody. It's not like a neutral or anything like that. Um, but if you are wanting to experiment with gray lips or purple lips, but you're scared, I do think this is a nice one. Um, yeah. And it doesn't really make my teeth look that yellow. 
considering it's like a grey lipstick, you know? So yeah, I overall really, really like it. I hope this review helped you guys. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.